I think we got trouble. Who that? This here is off limits.
all there, sir. Feel free to count it. What? Okay, that didn't sound right. <laughs> You've, uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos, so he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, be sure to let me know what happened, okay? Sorry about that. calm down and get a Gotta unload some bread. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. Going at you. Hang tight. My fault. All right. Better what do we handle today? Going straight to the bank. You spot anything you can use? Let me see what you got.
Hope you're happy with that. See you later. This is one of those fighters who can get you. Ask Benny Parrott. Need me a hit one crew in downtown. Of course. Be there soon. Guess it's easier to get rid of Pompierre than to get rid of his shitty radio commercials. Hmm. Shit! The comet has a gun! Whoever takes over after LBJ is gonna be inheriting a shit storm of trouble. Keep hey, at it! We got him! Get out of Vietnam and save any kind of fight. You should just stay down there. So yours. Yes! I hit him! God damn! I got him! Oh, yeah. You boys are fucked now! God damn! How did you think this was gonna go? Movies. I mean, that just don't seem right. That fuck is mine! Cover. That boy is mine! Son of a bitch is going down! That black bitch is mine! Yeah. Yeah. with the wrong crew. They kill all of us. Stay out of my way. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure her while we can. Yeah, okay. But if you're asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road we're setting out on in the here and now. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, 
but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Don't feel safe and we were rogue. Not after hey, that shoot the other night. Over there? How are you, sir? Just wanted to say, my mother would be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I owe that to you. If you're ready to lay hands on... How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. <laughs> this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donna, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel.
Hold on in, Dominic. Park anywhere. I was gone for a minute. Tony wouldn't mind. Second chance time. Do your job, and you might just live to see month two. Huh? Let's try over there. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign... Shit. Right huh? now? Here's what I want you to do. Okay, how about this one? I know this what? son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Oh, oh yeah, I like this. Hey, hey, over here. <clears throat> Don't you know you're dead? Don't ease up on the twiggers. I got you covered. <clears throat> He's got me. Ah. 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 Got you now. <clears throat> In position, let's do this. Do it. <laughs> Fucker hit me. Boom, boom. Here I come, cocksucker.
I'm gonna gut you. Over here! He's over here! Ain't no way you're getting past here, boy. Audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. Whatever you are, you made quite the mess of my operations. Do you have any idea what you cost me? Believe me, there must be an accounting for what you've done. Goodbye. <laughs> You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel.
the police were finally taking charge. Keep your guns in that goddamn elevator. Get up and see if he's still in there. Man. Uh, clumsy of me. Huh? How you doing, huh? man? We got How ourselves you doing? again. What? Get over here, you bunch of fuckwits. Get your hands off me, boy. That's a gun. He's a gun. What the cat drug is. Your ass is fucked. You gotta let me move. Stop circling around here. Oh, shit. Fuck off. That shit's all him. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't fair. Fuck. Get him. <laughs> Make way. Oh, the oh, 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 We are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shite goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Yeah, sure thing. I get it. But don't forget, my guys stepped up for you. They're working that hideout like it was already theirs. And it should stay that way. Except for the tiny little detail that my men secured the other hideout. And we did it with a hell of a lot more style. Until later, change your mind, lad. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitching these two got going on right now. You got to see all the angles, Lincoln. You start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. This agreement we had, it ain't gonna last. You know I can handle this. We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. What's the word, Lincoln? Make the right choice. Remember, you asked me to be a part of this. This one's all you, Bert. Can't wait to get started on her. 
on everyone that comes after her as well. My men do what I tell them to do. Their loyalty is unmatched. But when you pull shit like this, that hurts me, which in turn hurts you. If I'm being honest, I think you just made a big mistake. I got guys putting their asses on the line for you, and they expect some kind of payback. So far, all they got is a nice cold fuck you. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. You'll still wake up every day knowing the truth, and eventually, you'll do something about it. He wasn't exactly over the moon about having a giant black glove fist painted on the side of his garage. But still, he stood by me because that's what fathers are supposed to do. They should have tore down that terrible amusement park years ago. Pigs have no interest in defending and protecting folks like me. If anything, it's quite the opposite. Open season has been declared on the black agitators. That much we know is true. Almost finished with that new Afghan. She gonna love it. Hmm. 